Hey what's up everyone this is Sherry and in today's video I am going to show you how to create a responsive button in Figma and then create a hover animation for it. But before we do that we need to understand auto layout property that we have to use in Figma. So for that purpose I am going to create a new artboard and let me just create a rectangle over here. Okay so what is auto layout? Auto layout basically lets you create user interfaces that dynamically adapt for all screen sizes without manually setting the frame for every view. That means we will be using auto layout on almost everything while designing a website, web app or something else that needs to be on different screen size. Alright, let's start with adding text and for a little more detail I will be adding an icon too. Now there are hundreds of plugins to use in Figma, just explore them and find the one that suits you most. Or if you want, I can create a video on the best plugins in Figma. All you have to do is to go into the comment section down below and mention that. Alright, now there are two ways to add auto layout. First, we can go into the right panel and click on the plus icon. That way we will be able to add auto layout to our components. The other way is to use the shortcut key which is shift plus A and the auto layout will be added. Now let's explore all of the settings that we have on this right side panel. But before we do that, first I'm going to just add a fill color. Okay, so we have two type of resizing. One is the hug content and the other one is the fixed width. So basically with the hug content, the frame will keep the smallest possible dimensions to surround the object within it while respecting the padding value. With that, I can just go ahead and manage the padding value for both sides. So over here, we can see the horizontal padding. If I change it to 12, you will be able to see that we have 12 padding on both sides. Same goes for up and down padding. So let's say I give it padding of 4. Uh, that's going to look like that. After that we have our corner radius over here. I can just go ahead and change the corner radius to uh, let's say 7. Let me just increase the padding value over here as well. Okay next thing we have is our horizontal and vertical layouts. So let's say if I want to create a button in a vertical layout. I will just click on the settings and then I will just give them the alignment. But for this button we will be using the horizontal layout and I want to keep both of these in the center. So I will be using this center alignment. Then we have this horizontal space between the items that actually changes the space between the text and the icon. Let me just change it to 10. If I just change it to 20 it will look like this but let me just keep it at 10. Then again we have our paddings for left and right and also from top and bottom. The next thing we have is the constraints. So let's say this is our frame and this is where our settings button is going to be. So just give it 20, 20 padding on both sides and then I will just set the constraints on the right and up. So whenever I will resize my frame the button will follow the constraints that I have set for it and it will just keep the position on the top and right side. Now that we are done with our button, let's move on to hover animation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this button and then I'm going to change the color. Let me just give it a darker tone. Okay, so this hover animation is going to be simple. We will be covering more complex animations in other videos, but this one is going to be really basic. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Now that we have both of our frames, let me just call it settings and the other one hover. I am going to select both of buttons and click on component section and click component set. Then I am just going to go ahead and open prototype and over here in prototype. Let me just click on this plus icon and drag it down to the next button. And then I am going to select while hovering and change the property to smart animate. and I will be using gentle animation. Okay, so we have our component. Let me just uh, go ahead and choose a smaller frame. Now I'm gonna go into assets and drag that button over into the artboard. Now if I click on the prototype, yeah, so this is how it's going to be. So that's pretty much simple and the basic settings for hover animation. So if you want to get into more complex settings, just let me know in the comments down below and I will just create a whole video on it. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and while doing that, go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Take care and stay safe and I will see you in the next one.